billionaire houses tier list bro let's let's check out all these billion billionaire houses bro let's get it from a two billion dollar mega mansion to a fifty thousand dollar tiny home this is the billionaire house tier list vladimir putin has a net worth of 200 billion dollars and he's got a palace with an underground bunker As underground bunker i ain't lying having an underground bunker is top tier though no cap though but uh vladimir I ain't lying. Let me check. Let me see one more time. Putin has a net worth of two hundred billion dollars, and he's got a palace. This is palace. This the palace. Where this nigga stay at? Okay, Putin. Okay, so, some, 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 some calm shit. Some calm shit. The <laughs> underground bunker, S tier. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's definitely S tier for sure. Bought a thousand football fields off land in Hawaii so he could build a massive compound with a self sustainable underground Bro, bunker over fuck? a dozen houses, including two mansions and a web of disc shaped tree houses connected by rope bridges. Solid Bro, B tier. That nigga got too much time on his hand, huh, bitch? Damn. <laughs> I guess that's I guess that's what comes with being a billionaire, I guess, but damn. Two mansions and a web of disc shaped tree houses it's connected by rope bridges. Fire, it's all at B tier. In 1980 B tier though? I'll go A tier. Or Steve Jobs bought a California mansion called the Jackling House. It was designed in 1925 by famous architect George Washington Smith for famous rich guy Daniel Jacklin. Steve Jobs wanted to burn it down. California said no because of its historical significance. Steve Jobs really wanted to burn it Damn. down. He went on record calling the house a dump. He said Jacqueline had no taste and that George Washington Smith was a nobody. He then abandoned Damn. the house. Damn, why he going that hole? He tweaking, huh? He want that bitch gone. And let it rot for 10 years. The house became such a mess that he was finally given permission to destroy Damn. it. Eight months later, he died making the brutal destruction of this innocent wow. house one of Steve Jobs' final victories. I don't get why you hated on this house so much. I'd say it's a uh, strong C tier. Yeah, I, it, it's definitely a C tier for sure. I'll go C tier. This pharmaceutical salesman El Chapo had a peak net worth El of Chapo. 12 billion. He was said to have houses at every single beach and a ranch in every single state. He also had the government looking for him <laughs> in every single state. So rather than living in his luxurious mansions, he was forced to stay in discreet safe houses to avoid the law. These unassuming homes had hidden escape routes connecting Chapo to a network of underground tunnels that allowed him to escape, capture, and keep his drug empire running. This man was a Harriet bro, Tubman of crack, solid F tier. Bro, like, what the fuck? That nigga, I ain't lying, bro. He another nigga who had too much time on the end. But who, who, who about to go through all that shit? Just, just don't sell drugs, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Like, think about the preparation this nigga had to, to like do and shit like that, just to, just to make sure he don't get caught. Like, bro, that's way too much shit you gotta do, bro. Underground escape routes in the houses and shit. Like, bro, nigga don't got time for all that. That's definitely a F dude. So far, he, Trump's official that. residence is a 17-acre Florida resort called Mar-a-Lago. After buying it in 1985, Donald made a few changes. Oh, yeah. In his yard, he put an 80-foot-tall American flag. In his bathroom, he added a few classified documents from the White House. <laughs> But the Duh. biggest change he made was turning the property into an exclusive club. For a $200,000 entry fee, you could become a Mar-a-Lago member and hang out with rich people. Wait, like how Jeffrey much? Epstein. Hello, how much? 200000 But the biggest change he made was turning the property into an exclusive club. For a $200,000 entry fee, you could become... He lost me at 200000 <laughs> Even if I had it, I ain't paying that shit. Like you gotta, you gotta just have money just to blow to, to do that shit. That's 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 exactly why I'm not there. <laughs> Mar a Lago this member exactly and why. hang out with rich people like Jeffrey Epstein. He was a member of Trump's club until 2007 when he got kicked out for hitting on a teenager. Classic Jeffrey. The club's been printing over 20 million a year, making Mar a Lago one of Trump's most lucrative investments. It's a somewhat controversial house, but eight. it is a nice place. Being nice, the Queen nice of England place. has a lot of perks. You got the coolest jewelry collection of all time. You get to drive a Bentley limo without needing a license. You get to pay taxes when you feel like it. But the oh, coolest part of what? being the Queen is living in the five billion billion dollar Buckingham Palace. Bro. This 775 room behemoth has everything you need to be the ultimate rich person. You got a throne room, a multi-billion dollar room. art gallery, London's biggest private garden, Bro, an I ATM. Lie. She already, yeah, this definitely, a, this already an S tier, to be honest. Like, just, just what all she got. Bro, she got a throne, bro. It hit different when you got a throne, bro. Like, you really, you really, you, you, you got that authority if you got a throne in your, in your shit, bro. 
then it's not even considered a, a, a crib, a home, a palace. A palace, bro. You stay in the whole palace, my nigga. Basement, so you can take out a brick and flex on your 800 staff members. This place is so big, it has its own zip code. I think I'm too poor to even be looking at this house. Larry Let's Page, see, like, the co-founder of Google, has five private islands. Five? What is Larry Page doing on his really, five bitch? private islands? Nearby locals haven't noticed anything unusual except for a few helicopters. But in the 2013 conference, we may have gotten a glimpse into the answer. And there's many, many exciting and important things you could do. They just can't do because they're illegal. But maybe we should set aside a small part of the world where we can try out some new things to and figure out what is the effect on society, what's the effect on people. So in case you can't read, oh, what, what he trying to, what he building up, what, what, what random side quest he got in store for a nigga? You already got five random ass islands, brother. What, what you on? Like, hold alone, y'all be on the lookout for this guy right here. <laughs> Being the lines, bro, Larry bro. Page is using his islands to perform human experiments on children. S tier. In a 2010 letter to shareholders, stop. F tier. <laughs> some, some may write with bro, for sure. F tier. Rocket genius Warren Buffett said that his third best investment was his house. In 1958, he bought a $30,000 home in a quiet neighborhood of Omaha, uh, Nebraska. Okay, the property okay, is now worth over slicey. 40 times what he bought it for, which might seem like an amazing financial return. However, if he had instead invested that 30K into the stock market, he would have made 3 million. Damn. The reason Buffett considers his house such a good investment is not because of numbers, but because of the memories it brought him and his family. Type shit. Yeah, that's like, I give him, that's about D tier. I give him a D. Mukesh. The reason why we, the reason why nigga ranking so hard, cause these billionaires. So like, they gotta get, they gotta get like the harder treatment because Y'all billionaires, like, y'all can afford anything, bitch. Like, you know? So that's why, like, nigga really ranking hard as fuck right now, no cap. Ani, the richest man in India, dropped $2 billion on a 27-story mega mansion story? in the middle of the hood. In the hood, gang. Creative just, visionary. Just because it's in the hood? Just because it's in the hood, little bitch? I give you a, a S. Yeah, that's definitely a S. I go cap. That's tough. Kanye West said this in a 2018 interview. I'm going to be one of the biggest real estate developers of all time. I'm tired of the Nick Mansions, all the Spanish roof homes and stuff like that. Like, that shit whack, bro. Damn. Like, everybody. Damn, I'm Kanye. Whack. It's trash. Kanye bought this house in 2023. It was originally a church in Los Angeles that he planned to use for his Donda Academy school, but it's since been left to rot. In 2019, oh, wow. Kanye started building massive dome-shaped structures inspired by Star Wars that he believed would revolutionize affordable housing. He was seconds away from solving the homelessness crisis when California shut him down because they already have tents for that. Recently, Kanye bought a $57 million Malibu home, paid someone 20 grand a week to destroy it, then listed it back up for sale for $4 million less than what he bought it for. And on top of that, the guy that he paid to destroy it, turns out he never paid him. So now he's also getting fuck? sued. After taking L after L after L, Kanye officially announced that he would be building a 100,000 acre city in the Middle East. F. <laughs> Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba, bought a $191 million mansion on the tallest hill on Hong Kong Island. It offers a beautiful view of the world's most unaffordable city. However, Mr. Ma might not be able to appreciate this view any longer because in late 2020 at an economic conference, he made the grave mistake of criticizing the Chinese government. Damn. 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 Jack Ma that nigga went missing after that shit? What the fuck? Boy, that's why I say you gotta really watch what you say on stage, bitch. You talking to you talking to the public. You gotta watch what you say, nigga. They went missing. I I give him about like a uh, I give him a D. And dead, by the way, he ended up reappearing in China a few months later. Hopefully, Supreme Leader Xi Jinping let him keep his cool house, Michael Jordan's mansion. Could be yours for fourteen million eight hundred fifty-five thousand dollars. It's actually been on sale for over a decade. Damn. The main reason no one's buying it is because it's in Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> then it's not, that, it's not in Chicago, is it? Wait, is it in Chicago? No, it, I'm pretty sure it's not in Chicago, brother. It, is it one of them random-ass cities in Illinois, brother? I don't even think I know no other cities in Illinois besides Chicago, dog. Like, that's how, that's how like, low-key this shit is, bro. Like, what? Because it's in Illinois. 
On top of that, a lot of the home's features are too unique to Jordan. Not many buyers would want front gates with someone else's jersey number, a theater with someone else's logo, and a basketball court with the names of someone else's kids. Marking your territory is effective for keeping people from eating your pizza and also keeping people from buying your house. Now to the average broke person like myself, having a $15 million oh, house that's not selling might seem like an absolute disaster, but for <laughs> Michael Jordan, he's probably not that worried. Solid D tier. Jeff Bezos launched Amazon.com from the garage of a house he was renting for $890 a month. He's now the 25th largest landowner in the United States. Damn. Jeff has properties all across the country. His main home was a $10 million mansion in Washington until 2023 when he moved to Florida so he could be closer to his family and further from the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> he lives on a man-made island off the coast of Miami where he bought a $68 million Damn, mansion. Two months later, he spent $79 God, that million. That fucking pool look nice. I ain't gonna cap. That water clear as a motherfucker. I won't, I won't jump in that bitch. Oh, no. On the one next door. It's a pretty chill place, I'd say B tier. But he's also Bro, I give it that's definitely a S tier. This nigga, he got too much motion, bro. Way too much motion. Getting taxes, so that bumps him up to A tier. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman dropped 300 mil on a French chateau. It has a nightclub, a moat with an underwater aquarium, and modern technology that can all be controlled with an iPhone. With the, the building iPhone? might seem like a historic landmark, but it was actually built in 2009 by Saudi businessman Ahmad Khashoggi. The wealthy developer probably won't be doing business with the Crown Prince anytime soon, because in 2018, according to the CIA, the Crown Prince assassinated his cousin. What the fuck? If Ahmad and the Crown Prince ever link up again, bro. that might just, just off that information, F, bro. Because, like, what the fuck is you doing? For conversation, it's a pretty cool house, though. Billionaires Row is a New York City neighborhood with the tallest and most expensive buildings Damn. in the world. The people that buy these apartments aren't buying apartments. They're investing in furnished capitalism. The majority of people who are actually living here aren't actually living here. They're using these apartments for places to store value. It's a brand. It's like a Birkin bag. Where do you live? 157, where do you live? 111, where do you live? 220. In 2019, Damn. billionaire investor Ken Griffin bought four floors of 220 Central Park South for $238 million, making it the most expensive real estate purchase in the United States. 220 holds Shit. the most desirable view in the city, being the only billionaire's row tower located directly on Central Park. I mess with Ken Griffin, but I think $240 million for a concrete brick is a little yeah. bit too much. Bill Gates yeah, has a $150 million dollar complex in Washington. It has an epic library with a manuscript written by Leonardo da Vinci. Damn. That's the only interior your footage of his house on the internet. So some of the following visuals will be made with AI. AI is a brilliant tool. <laughs> Bill Gates has a 60 foot indoor swimming pool. Inside of it is an underwater sound system, but that's nothing compared to his personal Lake Washington beach that has sand imported from the Caribbean. He also has a trampoline room, walls covered trampoline in screens, room? and his favorite tree. Wall covered in, bro, this is so hard. Bro. Sand imported from bro. the Caribbean. He also has a trampoline room, walls covered in. Bro, imagine watching FSD videos on all these screens, bro. That should have be so tough, son. Like, you just walk in the room, it's just buku content of just me. Like, oh my God. That's and so his favorite treat that he monitors electronically 24 hours a day. There's some cool tech in this house. I'd say a solid yeah, that's a, e tier. Right, right, bro, hell no, that's an S tier. That's an S tier for sure. Larry Ellison, the co-founder of Oracle, got a letter from his accountant. It listed a few of his expenses, like his $25 million villa in Japan, $194 million yacht, and $200 million Japanese temple in California. Larry's net worth at the time was $23 billion, but his accountant was still concerned. I'm worried, Larry. It's imperative that we start to budget and plan. New purchases should be kept. Oracle CEO and billionaire Larry Ellison has just made a rather large investment or purchase. Uh, he's just bought the island yeah. of Lanai. S tier. Kim Kardashian bought a twenty million dollar uh, home. A tier. 2014 with her then husband Kanye West. They spent three years transforming it into what they described as a minimal monastery and what others described as an expensive psych ward. This house <laughs> is a really cool art project. Yeah, really though. I get that like a I go B. I go B tier for that though, for sure. Now you're in the middle of this strange time where you're selling your houses, you say you don't want any material possessions and I'm slightly sad about it actually. Elon? If you're sad about it, why are you doing it? On May 1st of 2020, Elon Musk announced that he would be selling almost all physical possessions, including his homes. And he stayed true to his word, selling off each of his California mansions one by one. He then acquired a $50,000 yeah. tiny home. I think, I think possessions kind of weigh you down. 
they're, they're kind of an attack vector. He'll say, hey, billionaire, you got all this stuff. I'm like, well, I now don't have stuff. Now what's, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Yuan's $50,000 tiny home is actually his guest house. His main home is a South Texas rental property. It's technically only worth 45 grand, but he also spent 200,000 building an eight foot fence around it and covering it with security cameras. Elon says he got rid of his stuff when he sold off his $100 million real estate portfolio. But considering that only accounts for 0.05% of his wealth, he still has a lot of stuff Good. after all. Oh my, yeah, I ain't gonna cap though. No cap, this, this pretty much, I ain't lying, this a pretty accurate tier list. Like I said, only people I probably, I pretty much like from what I said early in the video that 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 would be the differences between like the tiers. But this you really can't beat this shit because they billionaires at the end of the day. It really don't matter what our opinion is on this shit. But nah, W video by Brodo for sure. No cap, it's definitely a W video. But y'all, uh, who y'all think, uh, who y'all think had the best crib? Do y'all comment that below? Who y'all feel is though should have been in sp specific tiers? Like y'all feel like Kim should have been in A. Y'all feel like Donald should have been in F. Like how y'all feeling, bro? Y'all let me know in the comments below, bro. But W Vid once again by by uh Jack Pocket. Like shout out to bro for sure.